Hello guys and welcome back. So in the last section we created our very first attribute director. Now in this section we'll uh, create our first structural director, a custom one. Okay. So um, let's create a directive file for it first. I'm gonna call it uh, ng generate d for directive and in the directives folder I'm gonna create um, unless that is the name of the directive and this will do what uh, this will do the opposite of ng if so basically if the value is false then it will show uh, the content on the screen and uh, it will not otherwise okay so I created a directive here and uh, now let's start to work on it the directive was not added okay now it's added so let's open up the directive file okay and let's first see why exactly do we have a, an asterisk sign over um at uh, over structural directives in angular okay so if i open up the components directive host and i open up the template here okay let's say if i have a variable here of type boolean uh, i'll name it uh, show unless it's a boolean variable and its value would be set in ng on in it show un this dot show unless equal to true okay now in the directive host components template i'll create a horizontal rule and now let's say I had a division wherein we have uh, an ng if okay and uh, to this I've specified the show unless in ng if okay and this will show okay let's save this and go back now we can see the directive this will show okay in the ng if if we set this value to false instead then it's gonna get hidden from the dom like so okay uh, but what exactly is angular doing here is it's somehow changing this uh, syntax right here okay it's adding some custom syntax and that custom syntax is something like this. So it adds an ng template tag inside which it adds the content that we want to show. But now this time with and with a property binding like so. Okay. So this that we write is essentially equivalent to this that angular converts this into okay so if i save this you'll see two divisions here or you'll not show and you'll not see both of them because the value is set to false right now but if i set it to true then you'll see both the divisions here or maybe not there is an issue maybe let's see what the issue is show unless and okay so this this in this case won't be on the div it would be on the ng template my bad okay so now both of these divisions should show right so this is how uh, angular transforms an asterisk sign that it has on structural directives into something like this okay now keeping that in mind, let's start with the directive that we have in place. So we are having the unless directive. Okay. Now what this unless directive will do is it will hide a particular element from the DOM if the value is set to true and it will show that element otherwise. 
okay so first of all to get the value let's create an input property and the name of this input property and th this would again be a property of type set okay um we'll name this app unless okay and this should be the same as the name of this uh, at uh, this uh, selector right here and we'll see why that is really important okay so now this will have a condition in the form of a boolean okay and uh, based on the condition let's first import input as well from angular core okay now with this condition we'll have to set something and then we can do that using renderer that we have already seen sorry this time we won't be using renderer this time we would be using two other things okay so <clears throat> this is the template that angular creates okay and uh, there is a container in which angular pushes this thing right here okay so that we are able to see it on the screen so these two things are the template ref which is of type template ref that is something that i'll be importing from angular core okay and this is a generic type if you hover over it okay so let's specify the type as any right now and then i'll also add up one more dependency in the constructor and the name of this dependency is going to be um view container ref which would be of type view container ref okay i'll also import this again from angular core like so i'll get rid of this import okay now we have these two imports and these can be used in the set property that we have above okay so what these two are are this is the actual template or the actual content that is going to be rendered onto the view and this is the reference of this view container okay so this is what is going to be shown and this is where it is going to be shown okay so now if condition is true then in that case if we don't want to show anything on the view container there is a method named clear that can be called to just clear the container okay and if there is something to be uh, shown then there is a method named create embedded view to which we have to pass an instance of the template ref okay so essentially what i'm doing is if this condition is going to be true then the view container is going to be clear so it won't be showing anything but if this is false then the view container will create an embedded view and it will project this template inside that embedded view okay so if i save this here and go back i'm not using the directive right now so i'll have to do that so let's just get rid of this template here and uh, let's also get rid of this star ng if and instead we will be using star uh, app unless and to this i'm gonna pass true okay now in this case this 
should not be shown right because we have uh, opposite conditions in there so i don't really see any division here right but if i change this to false and save and go back um again not seeing anything so there might be some issue uh let's open up that file so the name is unless directive dot ts i'll place a breakpoint in here and let's reload okay so the condition is false as of now okay uh, i got what the issue is this shouldn't be placed inside a string this should be a boolean value okay so let's reload this and see what okay so now it's uh, taken as a boolean so now it should work okay i'll just get rid of this breakpoint here so right now the value that i have used in the app unless is false so i'm able to see this a uh, div but if i set it to true then in that case it wouldn't be shown on to the dom okay and uh, this is how you can uh, basically use uh, a structural directive you can create your own custom uh, structural directive in angular so again what we did is we injected two things as a reference this is going to be the reference of whatever is going to be uh, projected into the ng template tag and this is the container where that ng tag is going to be sitting okay now uh, in the condition we have just reversed the condition so if this is true then we are just clearing of the view container so it won't be showing anything to us while if we want to show something then uh, and that is going to be when the condition is false then we are calling a create embedded view on the view container ref and that is going to create an embedded view and in that embedded view this template ref or the template that is referenced by this dependency that we have is going to be projected okay so that was our very own custom uh, structural directive in angular uh, now that was all regarding uh, directives from the next video we'll talk about pipes in uh, angular so i'll see you guys in the next video bye